Hello and welcome to another Crusader Kings 3 video on Play Curiously. Today we are talking about a very important topic related to our CK3 series, and that is the topic of historical representation of Croatia in the 867 start date. And before we begin, I just want to point out that this video won't be about how wrong this representation is, but rather about spotting the differences between real history and video game history, which could help us understand both a lot better. That's why today, we'll try to find some of these differences and offer some new ideas on how the game could be improved down the road. Before we jump into it, I just want to remind you that you can support Play Curiously on Patreon, because that would help improve the content quality and make it more regular. Also, if you like the channel, consider subscribing and clicking the bell notification so you won't miss any new videos from Play Curiously. So let's begin with the map and the geopolitical situation in general. In the 867 start date, the Croatian lands are divided into three duchies, Croatia, Slavonia and Dalmatia, which are ruled by three independent dukes, Domagoj, Braslav and Amphilokios. However, at this point, both Slavonia and Croatia, like some other Slavic states bordering East Francia, were still formally subjects to the East Francian king. These bonds were quite weak and it was more of a tributary relation than a vassalage. Unfortunately, the game doesn't support anything akin to a tributary status just yet, so the devs were left with two choices, keeping the Croatian duchies independent or have them be full vassals to East Francia. The latter would completely change the balance of power in the region, and open a number of other different issues such as weird results with confederate partition of the Frankish kingdom and the big Slavic independence faction. They would also have to tweak inheritance rules, feudal contracts and some other things which would, I believe, be too much of a hassle in the release version. So, I understand their reasoning behind this, but I'd really like to see tributary relations in the future, which would add another dimension to these states. If there was an option like that, I'd personally make all of these states, like Croatia, Slavonia, Balaton and Bohemia, fight for complete independence if they wish to do so. One other divergence from real history is the status of the Duchy of Dalmatia, or the theme of Dalmatia as it was called at the time, which was still a part of the Byzantine Empire. The devs chose to make them independent, probably for similar reasons, but in this case they actually left a comment inside the game's history files. It says that even though Dalmatia was formerly under the Byzantines, they were ludicrously unsupported, and that they just leave them to their own and let the neighbors slowly eat them away. That's actually a pretty good solution in my opinion, because the Byzantines are completely overpowered in version 1.1 and it's known from history that they just couldn't completely enforce their rule in Dalmatia at the time. Then again, I would also prefer that some type of relationship does exist between them just to make things a little bit harder for the Croats, because in reality the Emperor himself had to formally confirm Croatian suzerainty over Dalmatia after all. Another minor thing is the Dalmatian duke Amphilokios. While Domago and Braslav are both well documented rulers, it seems that the devs created Amphilokios themselves because I couldn't find any historical evidence for his existence. So it probably had to be done this way. The next issue is one of the Trpimirovic dynasty and the devs attempt to put them in the game even though they shouldn't be on the 867 map per se. Zdeslav Trpimirovic, Trpimir's second son, holds three counties under Duke Braslav of Slavonia, and we know that at the time he was actually banished to Constantinople along with the rest of his family. In the game, that would translate to Zdeslav being at the Emperor's court, unlanded and with a claim on the Duchy of Croatia. That's a tricky situation for CK3, because the Emperor wouldn't be able to press the claim until he was landed. Also, this would mean that you couldn't actually play as the most important Croatian dynasty in history, and that would be a real pity. So, it's a fair attempt on the devs part, 
but I think that a little better solution exists. And I'll show it to you in a video about a new mod that I'm preparing for the Forging a Kingdom series. This mod will mostly be cosmetic and atmospheric in nature, but it will also address some of these historical issues in a new custom bookmark. It will also aim to add a bit of depth and flavor to Croatia, with manually assigned traits for each of the existing characters, and a few new characters as well. The mod is still in the early stages, but with time, I hope to expand it both in scope and in depth. For example, I want to add some custom events and other content that will improve historical accuracy. But for now, I think it's enough to start our series. So these were some of the more prominent differences between the game and real history, and these differences in most cases are not errors made by the devs, but rather decisions to make a compromise in situations where they either lacked credible information or they just wanted to improve the balance and entertainment quality. In fact, I actually think that the devs did a really good job. I agree with most of these decisions and I understand why they were made especially considering the limitations of the vanilla game in its current state. However, considering that one of our main goals is to learn something about real history, I think that it's important to talk about these differences and, if possible, try to offer alternatives that might help improve the game in the future. So, if you know of any other historical inaccuracies in the game, put them in the comments down below and we'll talk about them and try to figure out why they're there. Also, I hope that you're enjoying the way we explore history through Crusader Kings 3 in this channel. And if you do, give this video the thumbs up and share it so others can enjoy it too. That would be it for now. Play curiously and I'll see you next time.